Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will be discussing about Google SQL interview question. I found this question online. So I thought that I that this question is sharing worthwhile and creating a video. So that is why I came up with this question. So as you can see on my screen, we have two input tables in the scenario. In the left side, we have user flag table and in the right side, we have flag review table. So our task here is that for the videos that receive the most user flags, how many of those flags were reviewed by YouTube? So to get this question, we will be making use of both of the input tables. I have not attached the expected output snapshot on this uh, on my screen as of now. Let me head over to Excel to give you a glimpse of both the input tables and also the expected output. Yeah. So as I mentioned previously, we have two tables. We have user flag and then we have flag review. Okay. And this was my expected output uh, guys where I have two columns with video ID and the number of flags that were reviewed by YouTube. So number of flags reviewed by YouTube mean what, what it actually means here is we need to calculate, we need to take the sum of all those flags where the flag was reviewed by YouTube column was true. I'm talking about this column here, right? Okay. So let's discuss our approach first, how we can uh, tackle this uh, question. So initially first, what we need to do here is we need to work over this user flag table and first get all those videos that receive the most number of user flags, right? So what we can do here is we can probably let's say do a group by video ID and then take the count of flag ID and based upon that whichever video has received the most number of flags, we can then target that specific video ID and get its flag ID and then ultimately join that flag ID with this flag re review table to ultimately getting this, uh, I mean, getting our hands over this column, review by YouTube column and getting the desired output, right? Let me quickly just go over to SQL Server to give you a glimpse. And yeah, before uh, moving forward in this video, I would request everyone to who is watching this video to please subscribe to my channel. As, as I've seen that most of the folks who are uh, coming to my channel, they are not subscribing. So I would once again request to everyone humbly because that would really motivate me to bring more and more uh, challenging SQL stuff so that you can ace your next, next SQL interview. Okay, so coming back to the question now. Yeah. So as I mentioned, we have two input tables. First, I have this user flag table. I have flag ID, first name, last name, and then the video ID. Ideally, we will not be using this first name and last name in this uh, question because we are only concerned about this flag ID and video ID in this question. And similarly, let me execute the input of this flag review table. Okay, so we have flag ID here and we have this reviewed by YouTube column here. So ideally, I don't really need this review date and review outcome columns as well. I'm only concerned about these two columns. Okay, so let's get started. So initially, like I mentioned, first we need to work on this user flag table, right? And I need to get I need to get first of all those videos that received most number of user flags, right? Okay, let's get with video. Let's keep video ID in the select and let's take the count of flag ID, right? Let's see what do we get here. Okay, so that means and let's also do an order by to make things easier. Okay, so that means these are the two videos that have received seven flags, right? Okay, so that means in our output, we need to get both of these videos. Let's let's check the output first. So video ID, we're starting with DQ and Y61. Yeah, so we have these two videos in the output starting with DQ and Y61, right? Okay, so because I only want these two videos now from in my output, let's apply one rank function here. So the, I mean, to the people who are not aware, I, we can also, just one sec, yeah. So we can also apply a window function inside, sorry, we can also apply one aggregate function inside the window function directly. So rather than taking multiple CTs or multiple queries here to calculate the rank, what I'm doing here is I'm directly calculating the rank in the step itself, right? Okay. So let's alias it as row number and see what do we get here. So I don't really need this uh, uh, 
just one second yeah so okay my bad i have to go with descending here right so i've got now for both of these videos where we received total seven uh, flags now i've got the rank as one right let's wrap this query in a ct and let's write select star from ct where row number is equal to one this will this will give us the two videos that we were initially targeting for our output right now see half of our uh, job is already done now now what we need to do is let me quickly go back to the excel we have got those videos which have received the most number of user flags right now i need to get their flag ids for both of these two videos i need to get the flag id so that i could ultimately join that flag id with this flag review table based upon this flag id column available here right uh, okay so i hope you guys are uh, getting the sense of it okay let's take one more cd here cd1 as and let's join inner join with flag with user flag table because i need to get the flag id first for both of those videos let's say yes is that uf uf dot video id and c dot video id and let's get c dot video id here and as i mentioned i need flag id from this user flag table so uf dot flag id right and let's execute let's see what do we get here okay so this is what we have got now guys so initially in the first ct what i tried to do is i first i tried to get all those videos that received the most number of flags by applying this rank function and then in the next ct one what i've done here is for both of those videos now i've joined again with the user flag table to get this flag id column so that i could join this flag id now flag id column with this flag review table right so that ultimately i could get my hands on the reviewed by youtube column right okay so let's let's move forward let's again do an inner join now this time we have to go with flag review table because i need to join on flag id c dot flag id right and what do i so the columns that i need here from the output so initially i need the video id then i uh, i would let's first execute this let's see what are we getting okay so now we have got all these uh, columns i've got video id i've got the flag id and this most important column reviewed by youtube right and i don't really need this review date and review outcome columns so you'll not be able to see this review outcome column because of the limitation of my screen size anyways we don't really need it so all we are concerned about is these uh, i mean are these three columns okay so because in the output i told you that we have to count now the number of flags where the reviewed by youtube was true right so what i can do here is in my final query let's remove fr dot star and let's take sum and apply a case statement inside the sum aggregate function case when reviewed by yt is equals to true let's take then one and else zero and let's and remember i also need to do a group by video id here because i'm using the segregate function right without using group by this will throw in an error okay so i think we are ready with our final query let's execute okay so i think we have got our output uh, for this video id so whatever flags this video id had th those flags were reviewed five times by youtube and similarly whatever for this video id whatever flags were there those flags were reviewed three times by youtube so 
I can either go with sum here and I can also go with count here. It, it, it actually will give us the same output in this scenario because I'm only interested in taking all those because anyways I'm uh, doing a case statement here inside the aggregate function and giving this one in uh, zero actually. So even if I go by count or I go with sum, it would actually give me the same output. Okay, my bad. Yeah, so my bad. So we have received seven and seven in the output. The reason behind that was because when I'm doing the count, I will need to remove this else zero part, right? Because otherwise count will also take this as one single entry and give us in my final and give me in my final output. So that was the reason uh, when I used count, I got the incorrect output. Now what I've done here is I've removed the else part because now that will be treated as null. Because I've removed the else part, so whatever, so which wherever the reviewed by YouTube flag will become false. Now that value, that case statement output will be treated as null. And when we are using, on, on, I mean, when we are actually counting nulls in SQL, so count always ignore the null values. You'll see. You see, now we are getting the expected output because I have removed the else zero part here. So whichever uh, reviewed by youtube flags were false for these two videos now those will be treated as null and count will always ignore nulls while doing the count operation okay so if you are going with sum then i can go with else zero here because that will not make sense yeah yeah so it's it's one and the same thing so if I remove the else part with the sum as well, then also it will give me the same output because again, sum will be ignoring nulls, right? Okay. So guys, this is my first solution where I've used multiple CDs to break down this problem for the sake of simplicity. Now, there might be a scenario that if let's say you expect uh, or you encounter similar type of question in any of the interviews, so the interviewer might uh, limit your approach that let's say you cannot use multiple CTEs or you have to, I mean, approach this solution in one single query. So in that kind of scenario, I've also written one more solution already that I would like to walk uh, through. So see what I've done here is uh, in this solution. So rather than taking multiple CTEs for count and rank calculations, I've done it in one single query. If you pay attention here, what I've done here is First, you remember this rank part we were doing in the initial CT. I'm doing directly here in this inner query. And also at the same time, that uh, aggregate function where we were checking the, I mean, where we applied the case statement to check the reviewed by YouTube column was true. So that also I've done in this one, uh, one single query. And as usual, I've joined on the common column flag ID. And after coming out of the inner query, I have given this filter where row number is equal to one so that I can only get those videos that receive the most number of flags, right? I hope I'm making sense. Okay, let's execute this. Yeah, so you see we are uh, getting the same output. So I think our work is done here. Before wrapping up, I would once again request to everyone to please subscribe to this channel and uh, please motivate me so that I could bring more and more challenging SQL questions in the upcoming videos. Also, as usual, so you'll be able to see the table create and insert statements from the video description. And if you have any doubts or you want any help, you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn or you can also join my Telegram channel for exclusive updates. So you'll be able to find the links to both of these in the video description. I think that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye.